What is up, everybody? Guess what? We're starting something new today. Um, a lot sooner than I originally had hoped. But let me tell you, I have not been able to get Danganronpa out of my mind since I finished the first one. I thought about it all this time. We're now streaming the after school stuff um, on my Twitch now for, for the first game. And I was like, you know what? I don't have anything ready for Halloween. Nothing. So I was like, well, what would be better than having like a few high school kids serve up some murder? That's Halloween-ish, right? I think it is. So we are here with Danganronpa 2. Now, I know that the first LP that I did, I let the um, the intro play, and I guess there is an intro in this because it, it seemed to have started the same, sort of. I didn't really watch it. My spoiler-free group told me not to watch the intro, to just hit escape immediately, because I guess it plays through the prologue, and they said there's spoilers in it. And I'm like, what kind of spoilers could possibly be in the intro? <laughs> but anyway, none of my business. I'm just doing what they said, so hopefully they didn't lead me astray. So we are playing Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I am so ready for this. Look at these little sprites. There's Monokuma. I, so far, I don't know who anybody is. So let's go ahead and go to New Game, because that's it. From the beginning, I am ready. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I have to choose here, like in the options or anything. Probably just take a look at it. No, that's probably fine. I don't know. I'm gonna turn down the, the, the volume just a little on the music like I did for the first one. That's probably a good idea. Because I definitely, well, maybe a little more. I definitely want to hear the voices. I'm assuming that the voices are gonna be just as good as the first one was, so I am ready for that. Yeah, English, let's do it. All right, oh, here we go with this. So, I know I made promises in the first one, but here's what I'm gonna do, and I hope you'll understand. I really, really just want the story, but I know that I'm good at solving puzzles, so I will keep the puzzle difficulty, like the logic, on regular. But the action, I'm very sorry, guys. Please, please forgive. J just forgive everything I'm about to do, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hey. Hello? Hi, who da who that? Who you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Where are we? Oh! Goodness me, hello. Who are you? Are you okay? Oh, I think so. I'm not sure actually. You seem pretty out of it. I am. I actually just woke up. To be honest, I'm also No, everyone else feels the same too. Oh. Where where the hell are they? I thought they were gonna be in a school. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Uh-huh. Okay. Like, what's happened to everybody? Hello? Hey, are you listening? I- yes, I'm here. What's happened? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think. Disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. What is it? No, uh, hello? That's right. I... I... Um, whoa. Alright. Time to play some retro games. I am ready. Start up my Commodore here and let's get moving. Okay. Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Yeah, okay. Oh. God, is this gonna be a dot hack thing? Whoa! This is cool! Yes! I like it! Oh man! That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Oh, is that us? Oh, we look so cute! Oh, bless. And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Yeah, it sure does. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. This music is good. There's Hope's Peak, isn't it? Yes. So wait a minute. What timeline are we on? <laughs> This can't be after Danganronpa 1, can it? School was destroyed, wasn't it, mostly? Hope's Peak Academy. 
that place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. So you've always wanted to go. Well, that's really cool. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. This is very similar so far, and I'm worried. <laughs> and just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope Speak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope, Aca Hope Speak Academy operates, Muddy. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. I... <laughs> I want to like get all into this and be like, yeah, we're starting school, but I know too much. I'm nervous. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Is it another lucky student? Surely it's not. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. Oh. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Oh, I feel you. Don't worry. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. Yeah. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime! Oh, what a nice name. I love him already. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, that's great. Oh no, this poor babe. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. Well, I guess so. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. Oh wow, he gets to fulfill his dream. I I'm why. so to feel like a member of society. Trying not to be upset to for him. I can Wait, what? Out of. The hell's I happening to my screen? To... What? I thought that was my screen tearing for a minute. Is it supposed to be doing that? Oh boy. For that reason alone, I always wanted to. For that reason alone, I always. What's happening? Always, 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 always. Until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why. Hope. I might have something talent. Oh, I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally forever tried my best. Finally came true three plus d No! This is a Doki Doki literature thing now! No, thank you! Huh? What is this? Oh, what the hell? It's door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. What's happening to him? Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No. I should hurry. Oh, no. -uh. Don't give me these Resident Evil doors. Oh, hell no. I am not liking this. Whoa. Hello, everyone. Whoa, look at all of them! They look so cool! Oh, look at all the girls! Oh, they look so beautiful! Oh, hello! What's huh? happening? Huh? Who I'm trying to look at all there? the ones in the back. I can't really see them. Who is that? Uh, that guy looks... what? Can't um, be what? Are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. There's like a Toho in the back. Um. Oh my god, I like the little redhead. These are all so cute. Oh my god, this music. Yes, and there's the guy we saw earlier on the beach, like back there. Hey, could you be... 
You're also a freshman at this school, right? A freshman? Uh, well, this has to be before one, you're then. We're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. I like the girl on the left. She's so pretty. These guys, everyone? The freshmen who are accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The Ultimates? I guess these are them. They all look so different, don't they? God, I'm ex like expecting to see someone I know I or something, and I don't. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. I think so. Gathered? <laughs> hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but still, high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool. What did he just do? Just roll open the door. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. I need, like, a drink of tea. I might be sipping tea throughout this because I've been a little bit ill lately. God, this music is great, though. Holy shit. Anyway, what just happened earlier? Right, the Resident Evil door. I don't want to see that again. I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? Sorry, I was taking a sip. Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Who is this guy? Discuss? It's all clear now. It sounds like someone, but it can't be that. It must be the same voice actor, then. Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. <laughs> whoa, 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 there's a Toho in here. <laughs> it's like a bookie. <laughs> uh, is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in the classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. I'm paying attention to the text, so I haven't really been looking at him too closely, but... Mm -hmm. Whoa! Well, what's up there, Anpanman? How you doing? And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in the classroom? <laughs> First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? None of them remember? We all looked around at each other, so it's the same really as the first. Did everyone like pass out and then suddenly their hair? A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. My god, I'm about to raise my hand at this music. Why is it so freaking good? I see. So before you realized that you were in this classroom, then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even if you stupid looking ones would agree, right? It's gotta be related to him, right? It's gotta just be a relative? It's the same voice actor. What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey! What do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness and now you're here and you don't know why? <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I incorrect in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Uh, that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness, that's weird. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna take me like half a minute to get into all these voices because I, I need to hear more of them than just their little noises. <laughs> To, to gauge what I should do for them. Even if it's just coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. What is she talking about, too good to be true? So you're saying it's not just coincidence then? Huh? I'm worried about that character. I don't want to say anything until I know for sure who that is. Oh, wow. Okay, I really like her. She's so pretty. I love her outfit and everything. So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for the strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. <gasps> I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Well, look at him. Holy shit. We've got Jojo up in here. Huh? What do you mean? Whoa, whoa, my god. We've got so many cool characters. So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? 
huh? What do you mean we can't leave? My god. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Impossible. This is seriously? Oh, they all rush into the door. I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... It won't open now. They're locked in. Okay. Oh? Huh? It won't open. I can't open it. Huh? Huh? Why? But a little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that door wouldn't budge at all. So where hey, did you shit? Hey. I, now I need to know. No, this is a very important question now. Hey, hey. What's going on? Sheesh. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. Are you picking your nose or are you just, like, thinking? What? Whoa, okay, we'll get back to that. Gee, a lot of things are happening very quickly. Eh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Oh my gosh, hello. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside the classroom. My goodness. Locked inside? Here's that music. That we all know and love. Here it is. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, chill just got through me the minute I heard it. Oh my god. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. Sorry, taking a sip. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps... Doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? There's that pretty boy from earlier. The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However, but according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... You know, they may say that publicly, but... It's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam? That's wrong! What's this? Hello? What? What the hell? Oh, I still need to figure out who you are. Hey, bastard! Whoa, hello? Hey, fat ass, why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you heard was not me. Huh? Huh? Then whose voice is it? Um... Hello? <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Hello? Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! Hello? Who that? Uh-oh. She's adorable! Ah, is that? I don't know, but it sure is cute. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. It sure does. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! What? Is this the new quote-unquote Monokuma? Magical Miracle Girl Usami! A.K.A. Usami! Aw, oh, she's, she's sweet! I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. What? Nice to meet you all. Okay. I don't think anyone's gonna fall for that shit. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing it? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? <laughs> That's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Oh, hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. Well, I've got bad news. I have. <laughs> It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Yeah, even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? It's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Who is this? I need to know, please. <laughs> its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. Seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of the school trip. What did you say? School trip? Come on. 
Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, 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 ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? What? Oh. The hell? Um. What? What the hell? What? Okay. Well, I mean, it looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, let's go to the club. Ta yes, let's get some. Huh? Oh my god, time to party. I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain, too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... <laughs> rave. Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What? What the hell is this? Oh, sorry, I didn't know he was talking. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, you, you comb that weave, girl. <laughs> Do it. What, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Where are we? Why? What's going on? Everyone! Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> There's no reason to panic, see? Look around! Feast your eyes on the beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? You ask? Well, obviously we're <laughs> out where it's better, out where it's wetter. Is that a euphemism? You know, never mind. <laughs> out by the sea. <laughs> oh, I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school and now we're here by the sea? This is impossible. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. Uh, but like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. Ah, Hope Speak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. Well, then in that case... Alrighty! Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard! The hell you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Okay, I need to know who this fat cur like colonel from KFC is. It it's not, right? It's not? Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. Problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait, island. Did you just say island? Yeah, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Wait. Who's this? Why would he know that already? Why would he even have an inkling of that? Unless this is actually Hope Speak Academy after DR1. And the word got out. Oh, I don't think so, though. Oh, wow. right. Hello, wow. Kill each other? That's... No, no way. Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. No, so scary. What are you thinking? Who, who is this? I need help. What is the school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on the island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax in this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. Is this literally like reverse staying in Rampa? That doesn't make any sense. That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. 
What did you say? <laughs> I don't even know what to make about him. I don't. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey dovey heart thriving school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart throbbing school trip begin. Okay, I'm down with it. I mean, you're not having us kill each other immediately, so I'm gonna go ahead and trust you, even though I know it's the worst idea ever. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, my mind ground to a halt. These poor kids. Whoa! Yes! Dangan! Island! Huge panic at the something! Whoa, whoa, oh my god. Woo! Yes, I'm gonna drink while we watch this. This is good. I love these girls already. I'm so in here. Oh, this is so cute! I'm assuming this is the intro that played before that I missed? I guess I could see how it would be sort of spoilers. Welcome to Dangan Island! Are you ready? It is hard to read their- their names. <laughs> okay. They're all so cute- <coughs> It's really him? What? Uh, uh, excuse me? Wait a minute. What? How? I I'm sorry? Yes? Okay. What? Hey. Okay, you know what? Oh my god, I almost choked. <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna. Okay, uh, calm down. I'm gonna forget I saw that for a minute. I'm pretty sure it did say his name, but we'll Can just- you hear me? Oh wait, with this again? Oh. Are you okay? Hi, we're back. Oh, oh, I see. So now we're back at this moment. I guess maybe we just passed out? I think I might be ready to pass out as well. You seem pretty out of it. From what I've just seen. <laughs> Are you shitting me? How was it even to possible? To be honest, I'm also- no, everyone else feels the same, too. Okay. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Okay, now it makes sense, because now we see why he's outside, and it's sunny, and the waves in the back, and we couldn't make sense of that before, but now, here we are, back here. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a- this game has a lot of questions to answer already. Hey, are you listening? I am, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just- I- a lot of my old memes are now being dashed. You gotta give me a minute. I think my heart is actually broken. I need to pick up the pieces. Okay. Hey. Hello. Wait, do we still not know this little boy's name? Everything went by so fast in the intro and they were all like skewed, so it was really hard to read. Oh man. Hey, are you sure you're okay? I think so. Leave me alone. Yo, there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Oh, well you're talking. Well, I guess you'd be the expert on that. He seems like a nice guy. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, to be fair. I could think of worse places to do this. I mean, the school was a piece of shit, can we all just agree it was awful? This is a little bit better. No? The sun's rays beaming down on me? The soft tropical wind brushing my skin? I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said... We're on a tropical island? You're right. Yeah, you're right. Hard to take in, I guess. I mean, really. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. Okay. <gasps> this music again. Guys, am I in for a huge treat with this music? Because it seems real great. Look, we can see that it's daytime, and we can see that it's sunny out. Level 1. Level 1? There's levels in this? With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. 
Okay, it's the same. I got it. You can examine the person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the last keys. Okay, that's the same too. Plus, if you press tab, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. That is also the same. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now, please, search the speech thoroughly and progress the story. All right. Oh, actually, I like, I like this sound better than the old one. The old one was a little bit jarring. Oh my, there's actually cameras out here. Well, let's look at everything possible. Oh, I like the little question mark that comes up too. That's interesting. I like it. The crystal clear shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Let's look at all the obvious things. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera. Are we being monitored or something? Yeah, but like these ones aren't bolted. You could just like move it, knock it down, put some mud on it. No? Maybe I'm thinking too clearly. That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. How can you be so calm? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hajime. I am now Hajime. Thank you very much. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy? He does seem pretty chill. Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? I'm not sure. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. No, now's the perfect time. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calm down now? I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Oh, Nagito. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, darling. How are you? Oh, it's good. Oh, he's lucky. Another lucky student. How many could there be? I guess more than one, since Makoto was the other. At least the other one that we know about. This just in, lucky students like hoodies. More at 11. Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talent, so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. I guess. <sighs> well, even if I tell you in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm lucky. I wish the music wasn't so damn loud here. I feel like it got a lot louder since we got in here. I'll try to fix that for the next one. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Oh no. If if this is if this is a, a precursor to Danganronpa 1, can there be two of the same ultimate? Oh no, does that mean something happens to this one and that's why Makoto has to take his place? Oh, don't, well, don't tell me, by the way. This is all spoiler-free. When I ask something, it's just rhetorical. I'll let you guys know if you can answer anything for me in the comments, and I will be asking for your help, so don't worry. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery. Apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Oh, that's true. I'm, I'm wrong then, of course. Probably e each year, there's one just randomly selected, right? So, okay, so there probably can be more than one lucky. Hope Speak Academy is the ultimate lucky student, and that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is lucky even a real talent in the first place? Now, now. It's not time to get snobby. How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh, no. I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. Someone like me. I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope to Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently the so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hope to Speak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. 
This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm, Nagito Komaeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Hey, now's not the time to judge everyone yet. Let's wait and see. I I already think I think he's gonna be a nice guy, but DR1 has taught us not to be not to be too trusting. Now then it's your turn. Yeah. I'm Hajime Hinata. Oh, uh, then let me ask you a question. What's your ultimate talent? Um, I I I I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt the thoughts stalling in my head. No. He doesn't have amnesia, does he? He couldn't remember? As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. Uh-oh. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. No! Is it just like Kyoko now? You're kidding me! Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Oh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. Is he gonna buy that? I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember soon once you settle down. So, I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Yeah, then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. I think so. I got a hope fragment. Oh, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. The strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone? Why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing him out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Oh, now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is it? <laughs> it's an e-handbook! Ah, oh, she just pops up too, doesn't she? Oh, wow, and she's got the cute little music. What the... Where'd you come from? I'm sorry! Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um, anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I shall explain. I have asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all of the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right! Um, on this island you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. Uh, use your relationship and it grows... Oh, sorry. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Don't know where that sentence came from, just made it up. On the fly. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Love, love! Wow. I... okay. Hey! She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants? Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was that all about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. Mm, that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So, now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Alright! Shall we get going then? 
He seems very friendly, though. I hope I'm right about this. But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate? Or is it that, well, what's her name? Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. All right, got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Oh, what kind of nightmare is that? Um, you are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the F1 key. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. All right, you can exit the beach with the R key. Okay, so it's basically all the same controls. All right, we do have a map. We don't have a map. We don't have that. We don't have presents. Report card. Here's everyone. Oh, it... Okay, no, I was gonna say, that would be a spoiler if it actually gave me everyone's thing automatically. That would be weird. We don't even have hers. We've got Hajime and Nagito. Here we are. He likes pretty things. He dislikes noisy places. He's the ultimate lucky student. 59143. Okay. Regulations. Let's look at this real quick. Extreme violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Okay. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Pet. I can raise a pet? Give me a pet. Hello? How do- Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Okay, you guys can talk to me about the pet later. Alright. Let's leave the beach. Now I'm assuming this is gonna okay. go a lot like DR1 where you can't really miss something if it's important, but we'll see. You guys can give me spoiler-free tips on how this kind of works, but if you're giving me something that happens in a later chapter, please don't do that because I don't- I don't want to be like ready for anything. Because I'm playing this absolutely blind and I want to stay that way. Ah, uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of the island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Uh, you don't know? The school is so popular. There are message boards online dedicated to talking about students. Then, was I also? Hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it, so he is like Kyoko. How unexpected. Oh, well, it's not your fault if you can't really remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. Yep. Anyway, I'll help you out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So, first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island, then. Let's go. Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. What is it, game? If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now let's go. Now I know that's much like DR1. But you know me, I also like walking everywhere, too. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the west keys. You can run by holding shift. You guys know I never run. If you press the Q and E keys, you can instantly move to the next area. When it responds, you can go inside places by pressing left mouse button. You've probably realized it by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take. So try walking to places instead of using map jump. Oh, well good for you because I like walking, so the pet's going to be good. When you finish raising your pet, they may be a small reward. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh my gosh! I did Okay, I didn't expect this. We can actually see ourselves. That's cool! Look at this! 
Oh, this is probably gonna get very boring for some people. Central Island. Should we just... Does it go around, though? Like, does it go around in a complete circle? Like, does it loop, or should I just start here? Perhaps I should just start here. Hajime. Hajime, it looks like if we go across the bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going there to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? I'm sure it'll be fine, maybe? I hope. Oh, look at this! First island. Okay, this is nice. Oh god, I bet- oh god, I hope I don't get lost, but I guess that's what the map is for. Now, if I- if I press shift to run- okay, does it count as steps? You can answer that in the chat, or in the comments, either way. You guys know what I mean. Um, because I don't wanna... Anything that- that's like- Whoa. What? What happened? Hello? My pet needs me. Oh, that's gonna be a thing that happens throughout. Hello! <gasps> Look at you! Hello, little thing! Presents? I don't have any presents for her. Oh no! How do I take care of her? Okay. I guess we can just leave that for now. Is there anything on this island? Boy, this is gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to. Probably the, f the first couple episodes at the very least. Cause I don't see anything really I can do. Hmm. That's closed. Am I an idiot? Alright, it says five. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. Mm. Looks like there's another island on the other side of the bridge. The bride. But we can't seem to cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Bummer. So wait, I got on this island and now I can't do anything except run around in a circle? That's strange, isn't it? Unless I'm obviously missing something. Let's do this. Let's look at the map like it explained. There, oh, there is something here, but I shouldn't have gone here yet, I reckon. I don't want to move the story just yet. I want to meet people. They said the exclamation point would be where the story is. So I'm just in the center looking for the rest. So, it, okay, so I'm probably in the right place. So four we can't go to either. I don't know if I should be running or not, but this is going to take a long time if I don't. So for now, I'll do it. I can't go to three. Let me guess, I've just completely wasted time by coming here. <laughs> Jabberwock Park. I think that's where the story is. I don't want to go there just yet, I don't reckon. Can't go to two. Don't worry. I'm assuming the gate would be up if we could go. In before I'm wrong. <laughs> you guys can give me, like I said, spoiler free tips and tricks. And guide me there. Alright, so that was a bust. Let's go somewhere else if we can from here. What does the map say from here? Oh, yes, okay. So there's a lot of things to do here, actually. There's a hotel, a ranch, an airport. An airport. Maybe we should go there. Can I... Hmm. And the bridge at the front. And the beach is down there. That's where we start. Sorry, guys. I'll get the hang of it eventually. I should've just gone the other way. God, I'm a fool. See, this obviously looks like something. Look at this. Airport. Let's go. That is literally an airport in the middle of the island. Okay. Welcome to paradise. Okay, there's two people here. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes. Couldn't we use those planes to escape? Ah... Uh. And, uh, it's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. Eh, the engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? Same person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who's doing it? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. Hey, Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. What up, pop boy? Nice to meet you. I like him. He looks cute. He looks like he's fun. 
All right, Kazuichi. How are you? The ultimate mechanic. That's a pretty good thing to be an ultimate of. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it truly is beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever is keeping us here must have planned it to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it is pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Oh, uh, well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh, I was mentioning the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Yeah, I did read them. Girl, your eyeliner is on fleek, too. Who the hell does it? It's great. Yep, yeah, I already got this. I, I read it. I did, I did read it. Oh, shoot. It won't let me unread it. It's now... <laughs> See? Wasting time because I read it first. My B. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful, relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? What? Oh, don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Uh, well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how the whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> guess we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. Oh, I see. You're a furry as well. It's okay. I'm not judging you. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Oh, well, we got his fragment. All right. Hey, we're level two. Interesting. Who are you? What's up, Naruto? Whoa, okay. Yo, Dracula's son. What the fuck is going on with your hand? Are you like a vampire hunter or something? All right, bro. What's going on? I didn't hear his, his noise, so I don't know what kind of voice to give him. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Fuck. I can barely hear him. <laughs> I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Yo! You may call me Gundam Tanaka. <gasps> Remember it well. Okay. For it is the name that will one day rule this world. Yo, fucking Dracula's son with the Gundam name. I won't forget you. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Ultimate, uh, excuse me? Whoa, 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 what does that mean? Ultimate breeder? I beg your fucking pardon? Rule this world? He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then it's my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? The? You! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me. What do you mean, pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Oh my god. Okay, this guy needs to go to a little less anime conventions. All right. Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No. The only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect. Face <laughs> your powerlessness! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five, trash. Trash? Really? Kneel. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Oh my god, look at his little hamsters though. Look at Naruto's hamsters. Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Oh, hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret of the Tanaka Empire. Oh, this guy's bonkers. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of ultimate breeder. <laughs> he loves animals. Well, he can't be that bad, then. Look at those happy little fat hamsters. Big mood. 
one of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Goldenhawk Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> All right, this guy is completely bonkers. Uh, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did as splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. I don't know, I might. That's pretty good. Airplanes. I mean, might as well look at everything. To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want us to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? We'll have to find that out later, I suppose. Anything else? No, that's all. Well, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, stop here, unfortunately, and we will see the rest of the crew in the next one. Um, the first couple of episodes will probably be a little longer, and then we'll fall back to our usual you know, 30 to 40 minute episode, depending on what happens. But I know this game is different than Danganronpa was, so I don't know if we're going to have the same kind of flow. If you have spoiler-free tips and tricks about that, or anything else where we're at right now, go ahead and put them in the comments, but again, please make sure they are spoiler-free in all ways. And then you guys can help me along with this, so we'll do it together. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm already enjoying it, and I can't wait to see what the fuck has happened to Biakia. Don't tell me nothing. I'll find out. Now I'm going to go mourn and cry a lot. I'll <laughs> see you soon. Yeah. <laughs>